Hey everybody, my name is Michelle. I am with Mighty Adubia Feeders. My husband and I own a insect feeder business out of Houston, Texas. And so today I want to talk about these bugs that you're looking at. These are Dubia roaches. And um, we get a lot of questions from our customers that have especially purchased a starter colony, a Dubia starter colony from us, kind of what the expectations are, um, how long will it take for the nymphs to reach a certain size, how long will it take for the ladies to um, give birth to the, to the babies, and so, you know, these are all really good questions, so I just really quickly wanted to put a video together. If you are in a time crunch and you just want to skip to the parts that pertain to you, I will try to put a timestamp below, so look in the description box below. Um, so, okay, so what we're looking at today, um, I'm in the middle of sorting and getting some orders together, so I just thought I would try to do this video real quick for you guys. What you're looking at are the different sizes of dubia roaches that we sell at MightyDubiaFeeders.com. Okay, so we have all kinds of customers and not one size fits all. So what we carry and what most people carry are small, medium, and large dubia roaches. Now I do want to take the time right now to mention that Dubia roaches are extremely nutritious for all kinds of animals, reptiles, amphibians, and insectivores. They are really great when it comes to phosphorus and protein, um, you know, the ratios and stuff like that, and fats. They're incredibly nutritious. If you want to know more about that, we did do a video. Please see our Dubia roach playlist, and I will link it below. What you're now looking at is a male. This is a male Dubia roach, and he is fully mature. So these are the guys that are hounding down the ladies in your um, colony starter kit. And so what I want to let you know about the males is that they, as soon as they... Um, mature they are able and ready now these females right here um, they take up to one week after they molt and so they are not quite ready to mate um, as soon as they reach adulthood they take approximately a week so at um, when so when you order from us I try to give you freshly molted females and so you know if they're freshly molted and you get them because you're local right away and I give you some of those just keep in mind that they may not be ready to reproduce and mate uh, for up to a week however if you do shipping with us probably by the time you get it um, those will be ready to mate if not already mating on the way there so you will also get some mature females um, with the starter kit. So that is exactly what you're seeing right now. And usually these mature females, um, so of course they've already molted into adulthood. They've passed that one week time period and they have went ahead and got pregnant. And you know, usually you can tell when you have a, I'll try to find a female if I can. Um, sometimes I'll see an Utheca and sometimes I don't, but I have other videos where I'm showing off females with Uthecas. But that is an A casing, and so that is how you can tell if you're sneaking a peek in your colony and you're like, I want to know if the females, I haven't seen any babies yet. We're going to go over gestational time, but so that way you know that babies can take such a long time, but if you see an Utheca, that is a very good sign that you are on your way to babies. Okay, so females can become pregnant as soon as they begin mating. And their gestational cycle is 65 days, you guys. So this means that the earliest a female can give birth to a batch of nymphs is approximately 72 days. After, this is after she's reached adulthood and that week has gone by. So this is roughly 220 days after she has been born because it takes a newborn dubia roach to reach adulthood about five whole months. Okay, so let's now talk about how many babies are produced per each mature female that reproduces. So females can give birth to anywhere between 
20 to 40 nymphs um, every 65 days. A lot of the literature that you can see says about 25 is kind of the average. Um, so anywhere between 20 and 40, but 25 being the average. And, you know, a lot of factors play into that, kind of like what time of year it is, what is, you know, is it hot outside? We tend to see reproduction being very booming and uh, lots of babies. It seems like more are born during the summer, during the hot um, time of year versus during winter time when they kind of, they do keep having babies and all that, but the production is way down. So that can have a difference. And every roach is different as far as, just like people are, we're all individualized and not all dubias are the same. So, you know, there are some variances to some roaches. But so that's what you can expect, at least 25 up to 40. And this can be on a rotation of every 65 days, you guys. So what that means is that, think about it like this, one female can produce in a year's time, 100 to 200 babies. So for example, you know, that's just with one. So in our starter kit, we have 12 females that come with that. Um, so in a year, 12 can get you 1,200 to 2,400 nymphs. And that is every 65 days, them having between 20 to 40. And this is all a guesstimation, of course, because like I said, every female is different. But think about that. In one year, you could have 1,200 to 2,400 nymphs. Uh, babies booming out of your uh, starter colony. Now, something I do want to point out is we don't encourage, you know, at least for six months, even to a year, you guys. Um, and we're saying that because we, you want your colony to get established. A lot of problem is that people start feeding from their colony way too early. Um, they get excited. They don't want to buy feeder roaches anymore and I can totally understand that but what happens is that you're not giving a chance for your nymphs to grow up and produce, you know, some more adult breeders for you. And so think about this. If you don't mess with them, and then what's going to happen is that the first nymphs that were born in your colony, they're going to have a chance to grow up and approximately like seven and a half months after those babies, if they're allowed to grow up and become females and become mature, then they can start producing in about seven and a half months um, after that their birth is. And so, you know, it takes seven and a half months, you guys, for them to start having babies. So it takes a long time and that's why we try to encourage not to feed from your colony. If you can avoid it, that's the best. At least between somewhere of four to six months, like don't even mess with it other than feed them and you know, that type of care. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and let's just talk about like how long do roaches actually live and what you can kind of expect from that and then I'm going to go into the different sizes and how long it takes to get to those different sizes. Okay so dubia roaches tend to live for about a year and a half to two years and typically the females tend to outlive the males. Um, that's very common and average for that to for you to see that in your colony. The males seem to quickly die off and I'm grateful for that because to me, the females are more valuable. Um, okay, so let's now talk about the nymphs that you're gonna be seeing in your colony. And you're asking, well, okay, Michelle, how long does it take for them to get to a certain size? You know, they're too small, my reptile or whatever doesn't wanna eat them. They, they like the medium size or they like the large size. So you may want to know okay how long is this going to take me so what you need to know is that first of all the first four months of the nymph's life are spent in the sub-adult phase and they go through seven different instars and so a newborn nymph is about one eighth of an inch when they're born and they're also going to be white okay so they're born white 
and um, they do take a little time to kind of get that darker coloring. So anytime a Dubia roach molts, they are very soft and they're very vulnerable. They're very vulnerable, they can get picked on. So if, if you happen to be going through your colony for any reason, you know, just make sure that your white roaches are being, being cared for, you know, like not beaten up on or chewed on or anything like that because a lot of times you'll see that um, that might be happening. And so sometimes if I see that, I will even just take it out and let it, or, or I'll hide it kind of like in the egg crates. But that's just me. Um, so they'll be white and they'll be soft and very vulnerable. And it takes a few hours for their coloring to get settled and become darker. Now a nymph will take seven instars. And what that means is it'll take seven measurements of time to mature into an adult dubia roach. Uh, you know, so an instar is a stage between molt. So each molt will increase the roach's size by 25%. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the different sizes that you can expect in the time frame. So um, like I said, when they're born, they're about one eighth of an inch, okay? And three weeks later, they are going to be about one fourth of an inch. And we classify that as the start of the small dubia. So between three weeks and five weeks, you can estimate a one fourth to three eighths of an inch. And so that is what we sell. And that is about five weeks of time altogether from the time of birth. All right, so moving on to the medium size. Now this is approximately two and a half uh, months. They'll reach this medium size. So that's something for you to think about when you're getting a colony and you're like, okay, well, my animal eats uh, medium size roaches and that's what I'm gonna be feeding off. So for example, in our kit, we do give some mediums. We do um, mixed nips. So you'll get smalls, and mediums and larges and extra larges and then the adults well if you feed off your mediums that's going to later become a problem because they're already you know been growing for two and a half months so it takes that long for them to reach that stage so from about seven weeks to ten weeks uh, seven weeks will be about a half an inch and the closer you get to ten weeks will be about five eighths of an inch and so that is our medium size and then after birth, approximately three and a half months, or three months and three weeks or so, around the 13 week period, uh, they'll become a large roach. So you can see that this takes several months for them to get that large size if you have larger animals to feed that, that like that large size. Um, so you're looking at 13 to 15 weeks, and 15 weeks they'll get about one inch, um, and 13 weeks, they're a little smaller at three-fourths of an inch. So that's considered the large size, three-fourths to one inch. And then 20 weeks is a half, oh, an inch and a half. So that's when they're in that extra large phase and they're in their last instar and then they'll be coming in adults quickly after that. So as you can see, this is about a five month period from a newborn nymph to an adult uh, size dubia that can start to mature sexually for you and produce more babies. All right, guys. Well, I hope that this information has really encouraged you to not feed from your colony. And, you know, we're always telling our customers, we're not trying to get you to, you know, purchase more bugs, but we're really trying to encourage you to think about these things. Think about the time. Think about the investment and energy that you're going to be putting into this colony. And you want it to do well. You want it to get established. You want it to get to a point where it can be sustainable for you for many years to come, especially because a lot of reptiles... Um, they live a long time and so if you can you know get to six months to a year to let it to let it really get established and not pull feeders from it and to have a separate feeder little box and maybe for three to six months keep buying feeders um, 
every month or whatever you need to do to not pull the the roaches out of your colony that really is the best bet otherwise you're going to be prolonging things and eventually you're going to have to buy more because you know you're going to be feeding them off so and you're not really going to let those younger nymphs that are born earlier in your colony grow into maturity and get established as breeding um breeding roaches for you so I hope that you found this very encouraging and, and um, that you are like, oh, okay, now I ha- can wrap my brain around this and I can get um, something that is really sustainable for me and my um, pets. And hey, listen, like I said earlier in the video, we do have a lot of education on our channel. We have a whole Dubia playlist. Also, I'd like you to please uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and please like our channel or like this video subscribe to our channel and share our videos to other people that you know that this might benefit um we are a small channel and we're not currently monetized and we would like to get there so every like and every subscribe really helps us you guys also um we do sell these things like i said we sell dubia roaches millworms and super worms and we do colony kits as well we ship nationwide in the united states of america and um yeah so visit us at mightydubiafeeders.com i'll put a link in the comments and in the description box to these things um, where you can find the links and also i want to just say stick around after this because i'm going to show you our little cameo of our iguana and our bearded dragon and our uh, our Pac-Man frog. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them real quick some of those delicious dubias so y'all can stick around and watch that just, just for a few minutes or two. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.